In this video we're going to take a look at page borders in Word 2016. Uh, this is something you probably wouldn't use for a term paper or something like that, but you might use it if you were creating a poster or a newsletter or something. So let's um, go to our design tab. And over on the right side of the design tab in the page background group here we've got page borders. Let's click on that and we get the borders and shading dialog box. We're not interested in shading here and we're not interested in uh, this generic borders tab over here. We're going to look at the page border and the first thing uh, to look at is we've got some presets over here on the left. The default is no border. Uh, if you select box you will get a simple box with a thin black line around the outside. If you choose shadow uh, you'll get this little drop shadow on the right side and on the bottom. If you choose 3D, uh, well that's what you get, it doesn't look very 3D to me. Uh, and then you can click on custom and do whatever you want to. So we can change the style, we can change the color, we can change the width, or we can use art for our border. Uh, let's take a look at some of these in order. Uh, let's pick something that's obviously way different from what we have. Let's uh, select this thick border with a skinny line underneath it and uh, because it's a thick border that automatically affects the width down here and notice however that selecting it here does not change our preview over here so it's actually a two-step process first you have to select it and then you have to click on where you want to apply it over here on the right so uh, let's say I want to put it on the left side and I want to put it on the right side I can just click on the left and the right or you can also click on these buttons down here and same thing with the top and the bottom over here. Uh, let's pick a different color. I'm going to pick red and you notice it did not change to red yet either so what we have to do is click on the left side here, click on the right side and now it gets updated with whatever the current settings are over here. Okay, So let's go ahead and just finish this off and uh, notice also we, we can apply it to the whole document uh, or a section and either the first page of a section or everything except the first page and a section would be if you were doing something like a book and you had your document divided up into chapters you could apply it to one chapter at a time so you could basically have different borders for different chapters I don't know how often you'd want that though so we're going to choose whole document and then we're going to click on OK and what we will see over here is a border on all four sides and I've got this text kind of blown up so it got to scroll a little bit to see the bottom so uh, there it is, and now, and by the way, this is for the whole document we said, right? So it's going to be on every page of the document. So let's go back up here, and let's go back to our page borders tab, our page borders button, and um, let's go in here and uh, let's say I just want borders on the side, okay? So I can go in here and turn them off on the top and the bottom and then I can click on OK and now what I get is I just get borders on the sides, nothing on the top and the bottom. So you can control that uh, as much as you want to. Let's go back to our page borders again and this time we're going to click on uh, Art down here and by default we get None and the Art options are basically a repeated uh, image over and over and over again all the way around all four sides. They've got some unusual choices here. And let's pick the Christmas tree. And so put Christmas trees all the way around. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And you see Christmas trees all the way around each page. So if you're doing a holiday newsletter or something, maybe that would be appropriate. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other choices in here. Um, and when we reach a point, which I should be getting close to here, um, we kind of run out of pictures and what we have instead are pattern. And you notice when you do this it does do a live preview. Okay, Some of the things are black and white. Uh, let's choose the little person here and I think we can change the color on those. Let's change that to red. And we get a bunch of little red men all the way around the outside of our document. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And that's what your document looks like now. Let's go back here to page borders and we will scroll down a little bit further. Uh, you reach a point down here, and actually we've already reached that point here. I'm going to scroll a little bit more. Uh, where
basically you get just kind of a fancy outline around the outside of your page. So let's uh, let's try this one, and let's click on OK, and that's what we get for our outside border. Uh, I am not aware of any way that you can use go into page borders here and select your own art item to be placed around the outside. So as far as I'm aware, uh, you're stuck with these choices that Microsoft gives you. And uh, those are most of the things uh, that I think you need to know about putting a border around a page in Word 2016.